on a trip to Tel Aviv with other U.S. lawmakers, Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer said the chamber would push through a military aid package, ASAP, to help Israel in its war against the militant Islamist group Hamas. We say to Israel, America will stand with its ally Israel. So we will work with the Israeli government and the Biden administration to assemble the most generous package possible. Now the people will ask, what about the House? We're not waiting for the House. Schumer on Sunday said among Israel's requests are additional interceptors for its Iron Dome missile defense system, which has been operating nonstop shooting down Hamas rockets from Gaza and precision munitions. The needs, of course, are quickly evolving over time. He also said he urged Israeli leaders to assist with efficient humanitarian assistance while minimizing civilian casualties in Gaza. The Biden administration has underscored that democracies like ours are stronger and more secure when we uphold the rule of law. We echo that to every, to the Prime Minister of Israel and to every Israeli official we met. We told them that as well as military assistance, intelligence assistance, diplomatic assistance, we wanted humanitarian assistance. And I said to them, find the fastest, safest, and most efficient way to do so. We also told them it was really important, to, and it's difficult, we know it's difficult, but still we have to, to minimize civilian casualties. Also on Sunday, White House National Security Advisor Jake Sullivan said the Biden administration hopes to push a new weapons package for Israel and Ukraine through Congress that will be significantly higher than $2 billion. But how any bill moves through Congress, currently without a speaker in the U.S. House of Representatives, is unclear.